Hi guys, this is Sam from Fluid Social, perching on a ledge uh, by London Bridge and Tower Bridge. And today what I'm going to talk to you about is how to meet a woman in an unconventional situation. So a lot of the time um, we always think about the street approach, how to meet a girl if she's walking down the street. But we kind of discount the myriad other opportunities that you're going to have to go out and meet women in the day, whether that's in a bookstore, tube station, train station, cafe. And people really get stuck on this. They think, well, I know how to do it if I'm running up in front of her. I'm learning that uh, and I go with the direct approach, but I don't know what to do when I meet her on the tube or in a train station. How do I do it? How do I make it feel natural and normal and unintimidating to meet a girl that I like the look of in a situation that isn't in the street in the daytime or in a bar or in a club? So I'm going to teach you about how to do that today. First thing that I'd say is think about your opening line, not so much as something direct, so you're not necessarily going up when she sat next to you on the tube, pretty little girl here, you're not gonna put your arm around her, look into her eyes and tell her that she looks beautiful because there's all of these people around you who are gonna find it uh, a little bit weird for them and she's gonna feel under a tremendous amount of pressure once you've expressed her intent straight away. So it's not a very socially intelligent way to do it and she's probably gonna think you're pretty weird for not recognizing that this is an uncomfortable situation. In most cases, that's not gonna go down very well simply because she'll be too nervous and she'll be thinking that you're a bit of a strange guy for not appreciating that that social context was inappropriate for that type of approach. So when I talk about a situational approach, what exactly do I mean? Well, let's take the bookshop example. If you're in a bookshop and you see a pretty girl that you like, what I would say is I would think about a relative or a friend of mine who has a birthday or a Christmas coming up or someone that I would buy silly gifts for, just funny little presents. And I might go up to her and say, excuse me, this is pretty random, I know, but uh, I'm looking for a really bad gift for a good friend of mine. This little toy or something in a bookshop or a children's book, this is about the stupidest thing I can find so far, but have you seen anything more ridiculous than this that I could give to my friend? Or she might be looking at the psychology section or the sociology section, and you find that you have an interest in human communication and psychology. I know a lot of you guys do that are watching this video, and you could say, oh, hey, I've read this book, uh, Sapiens, or I've read this book, uh, The Laws of Attraction. Um, but are there any others that you recommend? I'm struggling to find a good book on this topic. And you might get into a really good interaction on the common interests that you share. That goes just as well if she's looking at science books or history books or anything else that you are interested in, in a location that she's looking at that content. And then what happens is you have a normal conversation. You're not thinking, right, how am I going to get a number or how am I going to see this person again? You're simply talking about the topic that you're interested in at the time. And through talking about that topic, you get to understand about her. She might say, well, I started reading this book, but it didn't really keep my attention. You could comment on that and say, oh, are you one of those people that starts a book but never finishes it? Or are you more the kind of person that gets really wrapped up in it? And as you're talking, you can allow your body language to express the attraction that you haven't mentioned, that you haven't brought up. So you're smiling at her. You're looking at her in the eye. You're teasing her about her inability to finish a book. You're discussing these different ideas and actually getting to know her. Now, what happens for her in this situation is you allow her the space to feel attraction naturally for you rather than trying to channel the interaction down a line of uh, sexual connection and, and physical attraction so early on. A lot of the time women are intimidated by the fact that you're trying to say, right, this interaction has to be either with dating or with nothing. And instead, they just want to meet someone in a natural, normal environment who has the confidence to come and talk to them, but doesn't feel like they need to force it in a certain direction. So I'm not talking about indirect. I know we've got a lot of different labels, direct and indirect and all of this. It's not about that. It's about going and asking a question that you're interested in to a person that you like the look of, having a normal conversation, getting to know them, and then transitioning by expressing your attraction through your body language, by her personality, through the things that you're starting to understand about her. You have similar interests, seems pretty intelligent and interesting. Those are the things that you can start commenting on. And then when you go to close it, it's not just like, well, I gotta go find my friend now, but uh, can I get your number? You can just say, well, listen, like, I feel like we should start some sort of book club. I feel like we've got the exact same thing going on here and other people need to know about your passion for sociology. Let's start a book club. First meeting, 4 p.m. on Thursday. Are you free? You know, make it kind of fun. Like, so she knows that you like her, but you're not trying to arrange that stereotypical boring date. You're trying to do it in a creative and interesting way where you're meeting up with her under no certain terms. 
the interaction and the relationship is allowed to develop along whatever line naturally suits it. So if you're interested in seeing a full interaction where I actually go in with one of these situational observational approaches and I, I ask you a question about the book, watch the full interaction and how that develops and how I express attraction, then click either on the link that's appearing in the screen right now or if you're on your phone, go down to the description box and you'll find the link there. This is the kind of stuff I teach in my coaching. I'm not so much about running around the streets approaching women. If you're a total beginner, I think it's a good idea to practice by going up and giving a compliment because it's a skill that a lot of men don't have. And if you find that too nerve wracking to go up and tell someone that's put a lot, lot of effort into the way they look, if, it's, if you're too nervous to tell them that they look good, then it's definitely a skill that you should nurture. It's definitely something that you should personally overcome. But in most situations, the way that I meet people, the way that I meet the women that I like, is in these random situations, just as I'm going throughout my day in a bookshop, cafe, restaurant, airport, train station. Those are the places where it feels natural. Those are the places where you're gonna learn and you're gonna be able to get creative and, and act naturally about your day. And that's what I'm teaching both here in London and in Brazil. So for the next month from August 26th, I'm gonna be in Brazil. If you guys wanna learn how to do it, drop me a message, I'll get you going over there. And I teach you how to do these situational lifestyle approaches rather than the whole chasing someone down the street. If you're not able to do that, get to me on Skype. I'm gonna be offering uh, Skype coaching over a month long period at a fixed price that's listed on my website, also in the description box. But yeah, have a look at that little video. See what you can uh, understand from that and the way that I'm using my body language and communicating, adjusting my voice to be quieter in a quieter setting and louder in a more high energy environment. We have to be kind of social comedians, adapting our energy levels to the energy of the uh, environment around us. So it's super important, this one, guys, that if you're not in that conventional environment, either walking down the street in a bar or a club, that doesn't mean the women are off limits. It actually makes it easier. It's more spontaneous, it's more romantic when you're able to adapt your approach to a specific situation and meet the people that you like in the daytime without having any pretense of where the interaction's going or what you want your relationship with her to be. For all inquiries and questions, drop me an email at admin at fluid.social. That's admin at fluid.social. Or head to my website, which is just fluid.social. And you can contact me there. Happy to help you guys out with any questions you have. I'll see you all in the next video. Sam, out.